and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode we just witnessed some very dramatic scenes and I have to say this, the battle scenes in general of the last I think two episodes, they were very well made in general. I mean they weren't really original. In general most of the main story elements in this game so far haven't been exactly original. You have a lot of archetypes, a lot of set pieces, but you j they just pull them off very, very well. I mean, for example, the scene with the king shouting for Ferelden and, and the soldiers charging into this giant horde of Darkspawn. I mean, that's just an amazing scene. And the fact that they eventually failed, I mean, they were massacred, it only makes it even more epic, in a sense. Because... Um, there is just something very, I don't know, romantic about what I would call heroic failures, you know, fighting for the good but eventually hopeless cause. I mean, that's that's just a good story, no matter how often you tell it. So, yeah, in a sense I would even say that heroic failures are often more touching than heroic victories. So that was uh, very well done. Anyway, we are now in, I think, uh, Morrigan's hut, or uh, her mother's hut. She apparently saved us from the tower. And we now have to figure out what we're going to do next. Uh, first of all, we're going to check the chest. And yeah, my inventory is still full, so... <laughs> um, do I even want this? This is a Thai 1 shield. I guess I can live without it key required. Okay, let's check if Morgan has anything else to say. You must speak to mother, then be gone. <laughs> you have an army of darkspawn to avoid and would be best to get an early start. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. I think I already asked all the questions I could ask. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Hmm. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. All right. And what about Alistair? Is he all right? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind <laughs> to say he is being childish. Hmm. Very unkind. Those were his friends. And you think they would encourage his blubbering? <laughs> if so, they are not the sort of Grey Wardens the legends note. All right. Um, anyway, thank you for helping me, Morrigan. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Fair enough. I will go then. I will stay and make something to eat. All right. Then let's go outside. Yep, not bothering with reading that. Oh, hi. She. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Hmm. Um... I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. <laughs> I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Yeah, we did read a bit about Flemeth and the Codex. And yes, supposedly she lived a long time ago, so... <laughs> hmm. If you're Flemeth, you must be very old and powerful. Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is... He was our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan. But your grief must come later, in the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. 
Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? I don't think it has. Grey Warden's honor more. Hmm. The land is hardly united thanks to Loghain. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Hmm. Uh, we should contact the rest of the Grey Wardens. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. All right. We must assume they won't arrive in time. Fair point. What could the Tern hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. All Still, right. I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne hmm. that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Hmm. You think the Al would believe us over the Tern? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Hmm. That sounds like an excellent idea, actually. <laughs> Such determination. How intriguing. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Well, I already asked about the rest of the Grey Wardens, and... Surely there are other allies we could call on. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an <laughs> army to me. So can yeah. we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, thanks for everything, Flemeth. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. Oh, really? The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. <laughs> Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> um... Hmm... I think that's an excellent idea, because I still need a mage in my, my group. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. <laughs> repayment? You mean, we repay you by taking your daughter along, all right? <laughs> uh, well, we will. We'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. 
Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Well, that's... that's nice. Uh... No, uh, I don't have a problem with apostates. <laughs> um, I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. <laughs> oh, my dog, he's alive. I am Great. at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Hmm. Hmm. No, I prefer you speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying <laughs> that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? No, I kind of want to take her along because this is an RPG and you always take along your potential team members. <laughs> also, yes, uh, we need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Um, yes, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Hmm. What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? <laughs> I can cook. <laughs> yes. I can't believe you just made that joke. <laughs> oh God. Okay, Alistair, <clears throat> you and I, <laughs> I think what we need to do, we need to set up a bad joke jar for you. It's it's kind of like a swear jar and you put a coin inside every time you make a bad joke. And it can be one of those bronzer coins, that's, that's fine enough. And by the end of the game, assuming we survive, we empty the jar and, I don't know, have a nice meal or something. <laughs> Um, well, then you can substitute for Alistair. Right, my cooking will kill us. <laughs> That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. Um, have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me <laughs> as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Uh, tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travellers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? <laughs> of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Okay. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born hmm. from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? So maybe you were spawned from a log after all, huh? And she's just going to stay here alone? Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. How are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question <coughs> is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. 
Conversely, they can sense us. Oh. I don't sense any dark spawn. Oh, that's not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. Hmm. The dark spawn are camped farther in the forest? They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. All right, I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. Hm. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> All right. Alistair approves, Morgan approves. And I've been getting... I'm getting a lot of new quests. Okay, uh, let's have a look at our quests first. The Blight. The Isle of Radcliffe, a paragon of her kind, nature of the beast, broken circle. Seek out Al Eman. Gain all the most eight in the in battling the blight. Oh, those are the dwarfs, I guess. Gain the cooperation of the Dalish clans. Gather the mages of the circle for your army. All right, so these are the different factions I need to I need to get into my team, I guess. All right. Um, is there anything else here I need to do? Nope. Flemeth? Have you not left yet? <laughs> I hope you are not hanging about for some <laughs> stew. Uh, could you answer some questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. Yes. <sighs> hmm. Can I ask about your magic? What good would it do you? You are no mage. It is sufficient that I have passed on my knowledge to Morrigan, and I pass her on to you. Like a worn dress, or an old pair <laughs> of shoes. Are you still here? Mm. You cannot give them away, apparently. <laughs> you are very eager to get rid of your daughter. How long have you lived in the wilds? Since before I was wrinkled and old. <laughs> Ah, you may think it strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes, men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. Yeah, I read that story. <laughs> didn't just die from horror. You don't seem happy about that. I am not, nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. But enough. You have your task to complete. Do you have any advice? About the Darkspawn? About anything, really. <laughs> then hear this. I laugh at a world full of stupid humans who ignore the Blight's evil and abandon their vigilance to chase mortal goals. Remember, it is up to you to destroy the Blight. Pray not for someone else to destroy it. It will always nip at your heels. That's some pretty good advice, actually. What will you do once we're gone? Oh, have a moment's peace for once. <laughs> I hear the peace of the grave <laughs> is eternal. This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! <laughs> May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. Uh, okay. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Well, have fun with that. All right, I think we are ready to go. Okay. Just... 
Gather your party and venture forth. Yes. World map. You have now opened the world map. It details major locations of interest around the Kingdom of Ferelden. You can use the world map to travel to various locations, although some are not available until you meet certain criteria. So we have Lothering. And apparently I can't go here. Party camp. The current party campsite. Now let's just go to Lothering. Loading. Denerim. Oh. And I yeah. expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Indeed. Indeed. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Come on, don't let him get away with this. Uh, I guess he gets away with it anyway. Van Tegan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Hmm. So, she's the queen, I guess. Okay. All right. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh... <laughs> They don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers! Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Oh, don't even try this. <laughs> um... You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, <laughs> and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Um, I don't think they're toll collectors. <laughs> Forget it, I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Oh, try me. Try me. <laughs> hmm. I can intimidate them. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Wait, what? Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. Oh, no. Uh are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. <laughs> we'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. <sighs> so, Loghain told everyone else that the Grey Wardens killed the king. Well, this is just getting better and better. <laughs> you know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. He is really good, boss. Remember? <laughs> well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. I've 
changed my mind attack. Not enough, I'm afraid. An excellent donation, thank you. Uh, then take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. <laughs> okay, so I just uh, made the toll collectors, quote unquote, give me money. That was that's nice. Mm. Death Templar. Knight's Locket, Knight's Note. And a new quest. I will look at all my quests soon. Great. Alright. Eh. Trap trigger. Do I need trap triggers? What do I not need is the other question. Mm-hmm. All those... I think I can do without all those tire one leather gloves. Woo! Well, I guess it looks like I'm fighting you anyway. <coughs> so let's do this. Bandit, bandit. I'll take them oh, out oh first. Let's see some blood! Uh, 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 no I'll get on it. Uh, All right, we surrender. We're, mm. we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. You picked the wrong target. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more <laughs> careful. I'm sorry. Hmm, now you die, that's all you deserve. I want questions answered. Turning into the authority, you'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. <laughs> Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes. Hand over everything you've stolen, please. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. Wow. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. I mean, they just told me that they only collected 20 silvers. And now I'm getting a hundred from them. I want some questions answered. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. Mm. What exactly have you been doing? Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farmholders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. Mm. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Okay. Have you heard any... Uh, have you heard about any survivors from the battle? A couple, maybe. A group of wounded ash warriors came by earlier, got right out of their way. What news have you heard? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the king during the Darkspawn fight. I don't believe it. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Logain pulled out just in time. <laughs> First thing he's doing as regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Well, that bastard. That bastard. What's going on in Lothering? It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tear and Logain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, <laughs> you know? Yeah, sure. I am done asking well, questions. Well, then let me go! Um, I am turning you into the authorities. There aren't any! Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me! <sighs> hmm... Hmm. All right, then start running and don't come Bless back. Bless you. The dark spawn can have this place. <laughs> All right. Um. That was interesting. I think I will end the episode now after I looted these crates. Um. Yeah, I think I can can live without the dagger. So I will end the episode now, and I guess in the next episode we are going to explore Lothering. So see you then!